As the clock struck 1.15 p.m., an anticipated 200,000 students from all across the province walked out of class to demonstrate against the Ontario provincial government's changes to the education system. It's believed that almost all high schools in Ottawa took part, including a number of middle schools and elementary schools. Students at two Barhaven High schools both held their own separate walkouts, but eventually joined together to make an even bigger impression in the movement. Under the new changes, which are slated to take place at the start of the September 2019 school year, students will see a new fundamental math curriculum, changes to how sex ed is taught, mandatory online e-learning courses, and banning use of cell phones in class, unless it's for educational purposes. And it's those changes that students at St. Mother Teresa are against. Grade 10 students Noah Anaya and Olivia Stoyles were the main organizers for the protest at their school because they are concerned about where the education system is going. We just didn't agree with everything that was going on and this affects so much more than just us. It affects the whole school and everyone in it and also everyone across Ontario. I think it was more thinking about the future. Like this may not necessarily affect me, but I have three younger sisters and this will for sure affect them if this is implemented. For the two grade 10 students, they are especially concerned about the changes to class sizes. Grade 4 to 8 classes will now see the number of students rise from 23 to 24, and grade 9 to 12 classes will see the most significant jump from 22 to 28 students. And I think the size that we're at right now is perfect. Like, at 20 kids in a class, is every, every kid is getting you know, the one-on-one -on -one time that they need. If we upped at the 30, 35, kids aren't, kids aren't going to be heard by their teachers. It's also the worry of possible cuts coming to programs such as the arts, music, drama, and woodshop. But changes are also coming to the way sex ed is taught, bringing it back to the old 1998 curriculum with a few things being thrown in from the previous 2015 curriculum. Also that they're changing the sex ed back. Being um, part of the LGBTQ plus community, it was, it's like hard to think of kids who won't be able to learn that and are going to be so confused in the future. No ignorance, no hate, don't go back to 98. And this is not the first time schools have protested since the Ford government took power back in June. In September, neighboring school Longfield's Davidson Heights held a walkout when the sex ed changes were to be implemented. And protests have also been taking place at Minister Lisa McLeod's constituency office, where parents are protesting the autism funding changes. Now, this is the only student-led protest that is planned, at least for now. Yet this weekend, teachers from all across the province will be heading down to Queen's Park to protest on the front lawn to show the Conservative government that they do not support their cuts to the education system. Charlie C. Natty, WIN News, Barhaven.